Hello everyone. So now we are going to learn about series and parallel circuits. Previously we have known Ohm's law. We stated V is equal to I into R. So now I am going to tell you detail how that Ohm's law is applicable to series and parallel circuits. So let's start. So let's start with the series circuit. So the series circuit looks like this. I have connected four resistance R1, R2, R3, R4 in series. So now let us see what is the definition of a series circuit. A series circuit is a circuit in which resistors are arranged in a chain. You can see the two resistors R1 and R2 are connected back to back. They have a common point B which serves as a link between R1 and R2. Similarly, the two resistors R2 and R3 have a common link C among them and the resistors R3 and R4 they have the common link D here. So all these resistors are connected in the chain manner so that the current flowing through this has only one path to take. The current which passes through R1 has to pass through R2 as it does not have any other path to pass. Similarly, if you see the current in the all the resistors is same or is equal among the each resistor. So if I will find the equivalent resistance or the total resistance of the path, it will be found by adding up the resistance values of the individual resistors. So let us derive the equation for the equivalent circuit. So now I am taking the same circuit for deriving. So the derivation is like this. We know that according to Ohm's law, V is equal to I into R. And in this circuit, you have one voltage V, which is supplying to the whole circuit. But the individual voltages across the resistance are V1, V2, V3 and V4. So all these four voltages sum up to find the final value V. So I can write V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4. And now substituting this Ohm's law equation in the voltage equation we get if I will write the total voltage V is equal to I into R equivalent that is the total resistance across the path that will be equal to the voltage drop across the first resistor that will be I into R1. The second one will be I into R2. The third one will be I into R3. And the fourth one will be I into R4. So if I simplify this circuit, this will be like this. If I take I as common, that will be R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. And now, if I cancel out the current in both the sides, then I will find the equivalent resistance in a series circuit is the sum of all the individual resistance in the chain connection. Now, coming to the parallel circuit, in a parallel circuit, you will connect the resistors to the heads together and the tails together. So, the definition of a parallel circuit could be a parallel circuit is a circuit in which resistors are arranged with their heads connected together and the tails connected together. As you can see, if I take the resistors head and connect them to one point that is A, that will be heads connection and if I connect all the tails to a point E, then it will be tail connection. So, I can tell that the current in a parallel circuit breaks up and flows into the each branches with some flowing along each branch and recombining to meet again at point E. So the current at point A breaks down and is recollected or meet again at point E. And to add to these points, we can say 
that in a parallel circuit the voltage across each resistor in parallel is same and if you want to find out the equivalent resistance then the total resistance of the set of resistors in parallel is found by adding up the reciprocals of the resistance value and then taking the reciprocal of the total so now we are going to derive the equation as we did in series circuit so again we are using the same ohm's law here and the ohm's law states that v is equal to i into r so as you can see the one current branches out into four currents that is i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 at the point a and i know that from this equation i can write i will be equal to v by r so if i substitute this formula in the current equation i will get the total current i will be equal to v by r equivalent that is the total resistance of the parallel paths is equal to what will be the resistance so for the first branch it will be equal to v by r1 second one will be v by r2 third one will be v by r3 and the fourth one will be v by r4 and if i take common all the voltages then it will be equal to v common 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 plus 1 by r4 and cancelling out the both the voltages in the both sides the total resistance r or i can say 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 plus 1 by r4 this is the equation for finding the resistance of a parallel circuit so now what is the difference between a series and a parallel circuit so i am going to draw a series circuit having three equivalent resistances for example it is having resistance of 3 ohm connected in series with another 3 ohm and another 3 ohm so the total resistance across this point a and b will be r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 or r they are all same so it will be 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is equal to 9 ohm so we can see that the equivalent resistance in case of equal resistors connected in series will be the number of resistors connected in series into value of each resistor so that you can say there are three number of resistors connected in the series multiplied by the value of each resistor is 3 ohm that will be 9 ohm so if i connect these three resistors now in parallel and all the three have the same value that is 3 ohm 3 ohm and 3 ohm and the point a and b will have a resistance of r equivalent then it can be found out by the equation 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 or that can be equal to 3 by 3 so that is equal to 1 ohm so r equivalent will be 1 ohm so now the equivalent resistance in case of parallel will be the value of resistor which is connected in parallel equal value divided by number of resistances so that is equal to 3 by 3 or that is equal to 1 ohm so this is all about series and parallel circuits 
you can work out different problems and find series and parallel circuits properties in different different problems so help this video will help you understand the concept of series and parallel thank you and see you in the next video